Good morning. Morning, Teddy. How are you? Good. Yeah. How the hell are you, pal? <laughs> I'm back from being gone. Your hiatus? Yeah. Did me and Matthew Gillespie do a decent job holding the fort down while you were gone? I believe so. I was intrigued. You were? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you are about the only one. He's impressed. Because <laughs> when Matthew Gillespie comes on, remember how we used to be called the dumb sons of bitches? Mm-hmm. We'll yep. become the boring sons of bitches real quick. <laughs> real quick when I bring up the Middle East. Right. right. Now we're back with a, off the beaten path. <laughs> a path into the woods. <laughs> Literally. That's good. We have Dylan Barnett on the show this week. This man has been on a journey with the Blair Witch Project. For how, for how long now, Dylan? 15 years. This is about... Jesus. Okay, the movie, the original movie, The Blair Witch Project, came out in 1999. Yep. So, we're in 2021, 22 years ago. Yeah. What are, What exactly are you doing and what have you been... What have you been planning for the last, what, 10 years? Um, Go ahead and spill it. Okay, so in 2007 or somewhere around there... I think I was in fifth grade. Yeah, we both were. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, fifth grade. Uh... I was totally balls deep into the Blair Witch Project, right. mm-hmm. and uh, a light bulb went off in my head when I found out my grandmother had a high camcorder, and I was like, well, if I, if they can make a movie, let's make a spoof of it. The, prob- <laughs> the problem is getting the wrong people together involved with this. So and getting getting a, a little production crew at what age? I was like 10. Getting a production group at 10 is probably a hard thing to accomplish. It is, and it's impossible. Like <laughs> it's, it's impossible almost now, but at 10 years old. Yeah. I mean, we're still picking boogers and eating them. Yeah, and playing okay. and playing Twisted Metal. Like, yeah, 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 I, still, yeah, I still do. Yeah, yeah. That's what you were doing. <laughs> I, still, I still do. I was doing it last night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah. Um, we got, we, I got a person involved, which I won't name, and then um, we got someone else involved, and then it just escalated from there. And then right around 2009, we wrote a. We, had, we, we actually did manage to come up with a script. We got a binder! <laughs> with a, a real script. That only three of these exist. Uh, the other two cast members have these. It looks like a long script. It they is need, very long. They need to go in a museum somewhere. Uh, yeah, they do. <laughs> um, uh, I'm so glad this version of the movie didn't get made because this is absolutely horrendous. The, the what like the the the, the material what's yes it, the content the, the scenes the scenes everything the dialogue doesn't even sound like us but mm-hmm. but yeah. you could tell it was made from a different time period cause, yeah 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 well, so is it edgier yes that looks it, like Microsoft 08. it is yeah, <laughs> I mean this was YouTube was fairly new then so like, yeah <laughs> so like it, I mean so so yeah um and then I would say right we actually did manage to shoot some of this. And then it never got finished. And the reason why it never got finished was because everybody, you know how it is. You get people involved with making movies. They'll say, oh, yeah, I'll do it. And then they never show up. Yeah. Or they're just not really into it. Or they have the attitude of, why are we doing this? Right. They just didn't buy in. Didn't buy into it. Or they're just saying that just to be doing it, just to kill the time. Yeah. So, okay. I remember I would ask several people, and I could just tell that they weren't. Really fully enjoy. committed to it mm-hmm. and then when people were like well why wasn't i in there this and that i'm like well <laughs> yeah. there's a reason yeah so yeah i mean you have to surround yourself with people with a why not attitude because literally half the people on this not everybody um but there was a lot of people on this that were doing it for the wrong reasons and it, it and then it got to the point to where literally we would be all of us in my kitchen with a camera like this yeah Filming stuff, bouncing ideas off each other, and they'd be arguing back and forth trying to figure out what would go but go in the movie. So finally, I just said, fuck it. I'm done with this. I'm not making any more movies with these people because <laughs> I can't get anything accomplished. That's the I thing, like, too, because a lot of people want to take control over something that, yep. that you kind of created, and it, it just... Sometimes their opinions don't fit the narrative of the story, and that will cause yeah. problems, but... And not everybody that was involved with this was, was shady. I'm not saying that. But there were, and I, I, uh, I'm not going to say I'm not going to say any names, but but there are some people absolutely that were involved with this that are just like me and you, just like everybody else. Um, and, and some of them I am friends with still. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, that, that completely fell apart. 
and I literally broke all this. By the time I was in high school, I would say 2013, I, I was done. I totally forgotten about all this. Okay, that's what I was going to get to next. What the spark, the <laughs> flame, the all flame right. that brought this back? back. The uh, remake, 2016. No, <laughs> that was horrible. Wait, 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 wait. What happened? No, that was right. a remake. There's Just a, mention. Uh, there was a follow up. Yes. About what was? Didn't you say there was a YouTube video online? Okay, so that is the original trailer that we shot. For you shot a, you shot this a trailer. movie. Yeah. Mm. You sh- from this. Yes, it exists. It's it's out there somewhere. It's on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. And not only that, the footage for this movie is out there somewhere too. I have it. I believe. <laughs> he might have it. He might have it. I, I believe I still have it, but... The, the remake, 2016. 2016 was a wild year, if everybody remembers. It's like a, it's like yeah. a soft reboot, but yeah, it's not really a remake. It's more just a direct sequel, but mm-hmm. it doesn't have anything to do with Book of Shadows, but uh, I tried to like it, but it's it's like trying to polish a turd. I'm, it really is. I remember to going to see in theaters. The surround sound to the movie was, I think, their... Their main goal to it, but God, it, but, it was terrible. But isn't it weird trying to have like noise? Like, the, you remember there was like coyote noises and shit in the mm. woods, and there was like music in a found footage movie. Yeah, music that's, in a found footage movie. Yeah, that's kind of that's it's unrealistic. Hey, thank Is there you. a fucking guy playing that, the violin in the fucking woods? Yeah. That's when I, I, when I, mean, I, was, I was scratching my head. I was watching this movie <laughs> like, "There's music." in Is this Hans movie? Zimmer in the woods? I know. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> and then, like, I love the fact that they know what she looks like, but you can't look at her because you'll die. It's like, well, then how the fuck do you know what she looks like? <laughs> it's like, that, that's, that doesn't make any sense. I literally think that movie was just made for people who bitched to complain about the first movie being about absolutely nothing. Because this movie is fucking... The new one, the mm. 2016 one, is loaded with jump scares and gore. Yeah. It's well, made, is that the horror genre nowadays anyway? Yeah, it's it's made for the paranormal activity slash whatever you want to call it. They want everything explained to them. Mm-hmm. And you do see something in the movie, but if, I don't know what the hell it is. Yeah. My, I have my theory on it. Did you have a theory on what it was they showed in the movie? Not the newest one, though. Not the newest one, though. I mean, I saw a clip last night of the, I guess, the witch or whatever it was. Yeah. (laughs) Some people say that's Heather. Really? They say that she was transformed into that thing. But my theory is is that... Now, who's Heather? Heather was the main woman? In the first movie, yeah. The the woman out of the three. Yeah. Yeah, Because there was two guys, correct? Yeah. 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 It's been... I might have been... It came out in 99. July of 99. I was three. I believe. I probably saw it when I was seven. <laughs> no. yeah, I, mean, I was seven a long time ago. Yeah, that wasn't right around the time I saw it, probably too. I didn't watch it till teenage years. Really? Yeah. See, I, I my grandmother brought it home on a VHS, but she because she loves nice. loves movies. Yeah. yeah. I mean, knock on wood, like my family has got a lot of art, you know, artistic endeavors. Like my mom could draw, my grandmother could paint, but and, and they love media and art and music yeah but my grandmother um she thought it was real yeah and then when i watched it i watched it on vhs the best I, way to watch a movie exactly yeah right. on a movie rewind especially a movie like that yeah and like i legit thought it was real for mm-hmm. the longest time until like you know obviously you get older you know whatever but yeah. uh so well the the way they they advertise the movie like when the movie came out, the internet was just, you know, a new thing. And they made then they make a website of like her diary and everything, yeah. this and that. So their their way of promoting the movie was genius. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> because look, they had sympathy cards sent to the actor's parents' house. People yeah. saying, like, hey, I'm really sorry about your kid dying. Yeah, the like, actors went on hiatus too. Up. To make you think that they all died. Yeah, which is crazy. No way. Yeah, yeah artists. I don't remember any of this. Yeah, no. So, damn, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. It, it, so it's like they got killed off in a movie, and they pretended to be killed yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, yeah this is awesome. I love, the, I love the gimmick there. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, I love it too, but it got to a point to where Artisan would be telling them, like, hey, like, don't be talking to your mom, your dad, and your relatives. Just stay out of, just stay out of public eye. That's like the witness protection program. Oh, that's, yeah. Got a new name? Yeah, literally. That's 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 insane. We will not be doing that for a movie. I feel like, <laughs> Go off the grid for a few months. I, yeah. yeah. I mean that would be that would be bad. But the spark that brought this whole thing back was again somebody I will not name that 
that was involved with this. I love how this script is so sacred and has so much backstory to it. This guy has it. kept this, you know, he opened up the binder. There's, there's there's colorings of what the wood should look like. Yeah, literally. It's like it's like me when I graduated high school and kept all my chemistry shit. Like, <laughs> yeah. well, what's the reason for keeping it? Yeah. He kept it. Yeah. It's like I kept my homework. Yeah. For what? I might need it in the future. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need it at all. But uh, Dylan needs this. Yeah, because um, compared to what we have now, it, it's, it's a lot better. Because this is just like the baby steps of just being creative, I guess. But uh, um, he called me one night. I was playing music. He said, hey, man, can we talk? I was like, yeah. He goes, I was looking at our old script, man. He's like, we put a lot of time and effort into that. We're getting older. I think we should probably try to finish that. And I initially told him, I was like, dude, I'm done with trying to make any movies. I'm into music, you know. You shred the guitar. Yeah, shred. I, I try. <laughs> I appreciate the compliment. But, uh, <laughs> um, you know, I thought to myself, I said, oh, what the hell? And if it fails, you know, at least we say we tried. Mm -hmm. So I was like, let me try to write a new script. So I did that calling, and he was like, damn. He's like, you wrote a whole new script, and I did. <laughs> Which has done change like 500 times by now, but, um... <laughs> Yeah, and then that 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 started the whole thing. But I I told him I said, look, I'll do this under one condition: we have to not get so many people involved with it like we did last time, because there are literally like fourteen, fifteen people involved with this. Like to one, have a scene or something. Have in the movie. a scene or have something to say or have something to do. Yeah. It's just you know. It's stressful. Yeah, the, the the more the budget goes up, the more control you give up, literally. <laughs> And the more people you get involved with it, the harder it is to make something like that. When I made Summer Slasher, there was <clears throat> maybe 30 people involved total. And when we shot the St. Albans scene, yeah, so stressful because it let, we were there at 9 o'clock till 6 in the evening. Good gosh. Yeah. <clears throat> 9 a.m.? Yeah. So you can relate to where I'm coming from exactly. as far as like getting yeah. everybody together. Yeah. It and was a long day with a lot of people. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure you had to be like trying to keep oh. your mind on track to what you're doing. There's people over here talking and there's people over here trying to do stuff. You got to buy them food. Yeah, you, yeah. you got to buy them food. Yeah. You have to like, and, and, and on top of that, you got to make sure. You got to be strict. Too. Yeah. I could be an asshole at sometimes when we're shooting, but you got to in order to get it done. Yeah. And, and, and not all the time, like, it's, it's another thing, it's like, people say, oh, I'll do it, but being committed, that yeah. that's where it's going to, you know, yeah. determine whether or not it's going to be good, yeah. because if you just get somebody in there just like, oh, I'll do it, and they just be like, and they just wing it, mm -hmm. then, you know, you're going to be there for like 30 or minutes trying they, to... <laughs> they pull you aside and be like, hey, what if, um, <laughs> instead of me saying this, I sound like, no, that's not, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> it's not going to work. No. So I see where you're coming from with that. Yeah, and it, it was hard. Mm -hmm. And expect and every time I was little trying to tell explain this to people, either they were too scared to be a part of it. Yeah. Or because they were scared of being in the woods. Excuse me. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Wait, you're talking about like ten year olds, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I was ten, but I had like these grandiose, like you know, I really thought that I was going to be was, the rest of When I was ten, I, I told this story on the show. Me and a couple buddies went up in the woods. And started digging. You know what we were trying to build? What? A strip club. <laughs> <In the woods. laughs> what? So at 10, you're talking about the ambitions. Me and a couple buddies went up there, and we were going to build a strip club. <laughs> 10 years old? At 10 years old. Because <laughs> when you're 10, you're listening to the bear, and they got that Southern Exposure ad. Like, that sounds, Literally, yeah. That sounds pretty fun, you know, topless chicks. And <laughs> yeah. so, so we're like, why don't we just build one? <laughs> yeah, literally. You don't have to travel anymore. You can just go to it like right, right behind your house. That's yeah, where you build yeah. it. So, so ten year olds with with the aspirations there, I can relate to. Yeah. Trying to make a movie at ten is probably hard. I'll probably try to make a movie at ten. Yeah. Yeah, if it hits you at the right time in your life, like where you're, can, where you're like, I can do this. Because like, I didn't have a camcorder, but I had a camera, a JVC, I guess. Mm -hmm. And you had to have a blank tape. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's how you shot like home videos of like you know when you're blowing out your second. Birthday cake. Yeah, literally, that's, <laughs> I mean, that's probably what my parents filmed with. But I was like, well, let's see if we can get a movie going. And it just never happened. But Dylan was out here scheming. Yep. Scheming yeah. at 10. We were literally going to Walmart buying like stacks of tapes. Seriously. And like just going through them. And uh, the person I will not name, his mother gave us a camera that is, it's in the movie, but we won't actually use it. It's a prop. It doesn't even work. And um, 
it takes VHS tapes. That's how big this yeah, camera is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. how big my yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. Nice. It was and, huge. And that's what we shot some of it on, but, like, I remember us having a legit conversation of, okay, who's going to buy the digitizing equipment to put this on YouTube? And we were all, like, looking at each other, like, well, none of us have a job because we're all, like, 12. So. Yeah. yeah. And then we're all like, man, this is going to be real hard. And then we were like, why don't we just try to shoot it on, like, a camera like that? Mm-hmm. But back then... I don't even think that even existed. Mm. I mean, this was not 4K. We right. had, like, what? 180p, like, JGGC? 70p, maybe. 70p, maybe. Because yeah. this was back when uh, YouTube would only let you upload a video that was a certain length. like Yeah, 15 minutes or something like that. 15 minutes or something like that, yeah. So. Trash, you guys remember the, the old days of YouTube? Yeah. Yeah. Those are some lawless times. Uh, I saw two girls, one cup. Oh for my the God. first time, for the first time, a couple weeks ago, oh, I, th- I laughed like my ass off. That was hilarious. <laughs> I, I, I remember back. I then. cannot take people eating their own shit seriously. No. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> people get sick. I laugh, dude. I, <laughs> I remember hearing about one man one jar, and I was like, okay, I'm out. Like, it's always like one man one jar. <laughs> <laughs> Something really short. Two guys, one point. sandbox. <laughs> God. One night stand. It's yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. it's always those. So. For the listeners and watchers that haven't seen Blair Witch, can you give like a brief synopsis summary of what the movie was about? Yeah. The original Blair Witch Project? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so um, in October of 19, uh, 1994, three student filmmakers, they disappeared in the woods of Burkittsville, Maryland, because they were trying to make a documentary about a local legend called the Blair Witch, which was a story about this woman named Ellie Kedward that was drug out into the woods in 1785, and they banished her in the, in the middle of a harsh particular winter. And ever since then, there's been something weird about these woods, some, something fucked up that's been going on. So they were going off into the woods to make a documentary about that. And they disappeared, and a year later, their footage was found underneath a burnt-down cabin that contained their footage. So that's, that's the basic story in a nutshell. Okay. So... What is your script about riffing oh, off of that? It's 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 the same idea, mm-hmm. but in our movie where it's like, no, I mean, where, I mean, in the title, the, in the, the little monologue at the beginning, it says we disappeared trying to make a documentary. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh shit, a bear got us. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like, we're trying to make it, but everything you could possibly think of the worst shit is happening to us. Right. Like, we're fucking up a line. <laughs> like there's, um, there, there, there's something like someone decides to do the bathroom off camera. The sound guy just walks. I mean, it's just, I don't want to spoil anything, but it falls apart. Okay. In the funniest way possible. Okay. So <laughs> is it, supernatural or do you not want to give that away uh because i have a theory i'm about to tell you i think and it, all right so you will see when you watch it okay and not only will you see if you pay attention there's going to be little easter eggs in the movie that good gonna, please that that please. are going to give a clue as to who what's going on now it, it's going to be ridiculous obviously because it's a spoof yeah. so don't take it too seriously I mean, this is not fucking some deep movie with some. It's not going to get a ninety-seven on Rotten Tomatoes. No, <laughs> no, um, it's right. not going to have some super deep message about philosophy. Life, <laughs> super deep. Hey, right, fuck no. But this is just—it's just for fun, and yeah. if you pay attention, you're going to see in the movie that okay, I know what's going on here. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Well, the my theory was, and I watched it last night, and this guy had a theory, and it made total sense. Um, in the original movie. Yeah. It wasn't supernatural at all. Okay. It was a plot of two guys yeah. taking Heather out in the woods, yeah. scaring her, and then killing her. I could see that. Because... Well, what happened to the other two blokes? See, that's what I'm saying. And, then, and you know what's even weird? There's a plot hole in that. Is that the house at the end of the movie, it was burnt down in the 40s. Why is it standing there? Hmm. Somebody rebuilt it. Two guys... A two-story house? I mean, <laughs> damn. I mean, you gotta take a lot of time. And also, like, where do lumber. little kids come from? Where do they come from? Well, the... I can't remember the two guys' names. Michael, the, the, the sound guy? Michael Williams and Joshua Leonard, yeah. He had a, a, a theory where, where he was the sound guy. He plotted microphones because okay. all the crazy shit that went on, it was when Heather fell asleep. That's true, yeah. And there's a part in the movie where she's like, I sleep like a rock. And then he, they were like, okay, this is a great idea to 
stack those rocks up to scare yeah. her. Little hidden stuff like that. Okay. And then whenever the one of the guys goes missing, yeah. whatever his name is. Josh. Josh. When he goes missing, the other guy leads the way the entire time to try and find him. That's true. So they find the house. Mm-hmm. He leads the way in. Mm-hmm. And somehow he miraculously knows how to get through the house easily. That's true, yeah. So, so he'd been there before. Yeah. Yeah. And then he's yelling. He's like, I'm going upstairs. I'm going upstairs. Alarming Josh that yeah. they're there. That's true. So he's preparing to, you know, set things up to kill her. He's they're not up he's not upstairs. So he's like, I'm going downstairs. I'm going downstairs, informing him that they're about to go down in the basement. Yeah. So when he leaves Heather all alone, that's when he goes up to the corner. corner yeah. And then Heather comes in, yeah. sees him. And then that's when she gets whacked by Josh. Yeah. And that's I how the movie ends. I totally could see that. Yeah. But that's not the way I always interpreted it. Why, uh, why would that happen? There are two guys, one girl in the woods. Uh, couldn't If they wanted to kill her, just you know, beat the hell out of yeah, her see, in the woods. But see, here's... An, here's <laughs> well, that, that's the thing. He They wanted to scare her mm. before. Oh, okay. But, but you know what's crazy is that in the dossier, they came out after the movie, there's a story about... Um, her grand her grandfather, they had an encounter with the witch, and he actually said that she she actually said something to him. She said the word Donahue to him when he was a little boy, and he fucking took off running back like from the woods. And he he told that story to Heather as a child, and that was part of the reason why she wanted to make a movie about this. Okay. And in the journal, I, I don't know, I, maybe I'm. Is that still online? It, it's in a. I I think it is, but. Um, the book I have at home, you can still buy. I know oh, really? that, but it's it should be online somewhere. Is um, the book her journal? It has parts of it in there. Oh, okay. On the website, there's even a part in there where she, I, I believe I could be remembering this wrong, where it says that uh, she feels some weird connection between her and Ellie Kedward, which is weird. Okay. That's a little. I mean, you put that together with her grandfather said that's that's a little that's a little weird. Mm-hmm. Um, I still find it hard to believe that two guys built that house that quick in the middle of the woods and then tore it down and acted like it was burnt down mm. because even the professor who found the footage because was the people, it okay right, what back in how long ago was it when the fire happened 1941 well the the house is fucked up already yeah like in the movie well yeah in the movie it is but it's not the, the house that that they found the footage at it was an anthropology class that was digging around and they accidentally moved something, and when they moved something, it fell, and they were like, what's this doing here? And they pulled this bag out, and they were like, it's a fucking bag full of tapes. What's this shit doing here? And even the guy who, who said, uh, the guy who found the footage said, there's no way that someone could put that footage there without disturbing it. So somehow, miraculously, it just fucking appeared. So my theory is completely trash. I'm not saying it's complete trash. No, it makes total. No, it does make sense because you never see the witch in the movie. You, you don't. But there's see, this is another thing that the, the, the 2016 movie. I fucking oh my god, is stupid. Yeah. Um, because it's that's the point of the movie, right? Is to not see. It's it. it's in the movie they explain if you look at her, you'll die just from the fright of her. That's like why. Exactly. That's why you want to face the corner. Gotcha. But the problem is, how do you know what she looks like? Right. Because in the first movie, Mary Brown saw her. She described her looking like um, she had hair all over her body. She had a shawl. <laughs> really, her feet didn't touch the ground. But miraculously, she's alive. So mm-hmm. there's some there's something weird about that. I'm not sure what that's about, and I'm not even really sure that's canon. And I'm just gonna throw this out right now: the Blair Witch video games that came out after. There's the video first, games. There's a there's a brand new one. There's a brand new one, and there's three others. Those are the, the the ones that came out in 2000 are not canon, so just don't worry about those. Those tried to explain that the Blair Witch was an Indian god <laughs> that lived in the Native wood. American. Yeah, a Native American Indian god. Okay, that's right. kind of really that's not a, a burial too, ground. <laughs> that's a little too far fetched for me, but whatever. Yeah. Um, hmm. No, but your theory is your theory is is not wrong, but in in a way because Mike is the one who threw the map in the creek. Yeah. And guess but, who cr- that guy mentions it on the video. Yeah, and Josh crumpled it up on the ground before he kicked it in the fucking creek. So it's yeah. like, you know, that is a little weird. Yeah. You know. 
Yeah, that's strange. That is strange. <clears throat> because if you put yourself in that position of if the person that threw it on the ground, I would be I would be asking that person, why'd you throw it on the ground to begin with? Yeah. So the directors leave it up in the air or do yeah. they explain it? Okay. No. They never they always like to leave it open for interpretation. I love that. I love that too. Yeah. I mean look at the shining. I mean oh, it's, yeah. that's another movie that you can interpret it three different ways. Yeah. Ghost, he's crazy. It's no, all in the person's No head. country for all men. No country yeah. for all men's the same way. Yeah. Great film. Great oh, Bush. Yeah. yeah. Great film. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's top two one of my favorite movies. Oh really? Yeah. Of all time? Yeah. You've seen you've seen a lot of film. Yeah. Some of the greatest movies I think film. leave it up to your imagination. I mean look <laughs> at the first Halloween. They never explain once why Michael Myers is killing people. Yeah. The only thing you need to know is that he killed his sister on Halloween night. And he's chasing Jamie Lee Curtis around. That's it. Well, even then he wasn't her s- I mean, sister. technically, yeah. He yeah. wasn't even really her sister. He's in the, just in the first movie He's just a crazed killer. Yeah. yeah, that was from that hometown. And then they need to make more movies. And then in the sequel, they they're like, oh, it's Jamie Lee Curtis's sister, our brother. Yeah. And then then <clears throat> by part six, it yeah. was a cult. Mm-hmm. See, that's where they started trying to explain everything, yeah. and that's where anytime you do that, you run the risk of just it. It just kind of spoils mm-hmm. it. It's like watching the original. Texas. Just watered down. Yeah, yeah, just watered down. But the new Halloween movie that came out two years ago. Yeah, I've not seen it. It's so it's it's crazy how they did it. So you have all these sequels, right? From the, the original. zombie, the guy who made it. Did Rob no, 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 no. That's the other remakes. Yeah, uh, I like those. Yeah, those are great. Those are very those great. Are great. Great. Yeah. Well, the original came out in eighty seventy nine something like that. Yeah. Um. And then the one that came out two years ago is basically just the sequel right after the original. So they're erasing all the other sequels back in the 80s. Like the new Halloween movie is a direct sequel to the one that came out in the 70s. And it ignores all the Good. others. Yeah. Good. And I'm guessing Jamie Lee Curtis isn't no related to I it. I don't think so. I don't think they put it that way. Because even by part six, they got into like the whole thing with um, when planets align. H2O. No, no, this is actually before H two O. H two O was a good one. I, I didn't mind H two O. Part six is a weird one because it came out like the grunge era, and yeah. there's not a lot of slash movies. That is came that with out. Paul Rudd? Yes, it is with Paul yeah. Rudd. Yeah. And like Paul Rudd, yeah, he's in that movie. And so I, there's someone else that's Jamie, not Jamie Lee Curtis. Um, she was in Rob Zombie's Halloween remake. I forget her name. Uh, Daniel uh, Daniel Harris. That's her name. The black dark haired. Girl? She was supposed to be in part six. Okay. And um, and her character ends up getting killed off at the first part of the movie, but because uh, yeah. she was Michael's, who was she in part five? And niece. Three? Yes, that was niece. a niece. Yeah. The girl who dressed up in the clown. Yeah. Outfit. Which yeah. I didn't mind part four, but like you go I back, liked it. Yeah. I mean, I liked it, but once you start trying to explain like. Michael is under the control of a cult. It just, it just. Ah, uh, come on. Yeah, yeah see, that's, what I'm saying. that's what Part Six tried to explain. You don't have to have that for a slasher. Exactly. You just have a crazed man. Yeah. Same with the Blair Witch. Like when you start saying that there's an Indian god in the woods, it's kind of <laughs> or like a, an ancient. Fo- it's just I don't know. There's something about going that route with it that mm-hmm. I've never understood. But that was on that was in 2000 on PC. There, there were three PC games and. I mean, they're okay, but yeah. the new one that did come out is... um come out a couple years ago. Yeah, you actually hear her talk to you, and you clearly it's clear that it's a woman, and it's a, it's, it's a witch of some kind. Can you get it on, like... What can you play it on? Xbox One, I think, PS4. I mean, okay. it was good. I mean, it wasn't the greatest game in the world, but it, I enjoyed it. I mean... Mm. Um, it ain't no Twisted Metal. Though. No, it's not Twisted Metal. <laughs> it's not, metal. not Resident Evil. It's no Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. It's not, uh, <laughs> it's not, it's not, it's no, not, it's not the gold standard of video games. It's not, but it's not, it's serviceable. Yeah. I, I, let me ask you, I want to ask you, I don't think I've ever asked you this. Did you think it was real when you first watched it? What, the Blair Witch? Oh, yeah. The first yeah. one. You thought I was, was seven real. years old. Yeah, yeah, me too. And then I realized what filmmaking actually was. Yeah. I <laughs> thought Armageddon, I thought Armageddon was real. Dude. I thought, <laughs> Fucking signs, movie. Thought, signs. Thought, dude. When the alien walks out, I thought that shit was legit. Cause you know it was on the camcorder or yeah. whatever. Dude, and I, when you're little, your mind. He's so when you're five years old, watching you know Bruce Willis and them go blow up a moon rock, you think it's real. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's why. Like, I got so scared watching a movie one time called Darkness Falls. The opening. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck that yeah, shit. Yeah. My girlfriend. Always mentions that movie. Darkness Falls, dude. And I've never dude, seen. Dude, I used to be really into drawing things as a kid. 
uh, things related to sports. I drew a Darkness Falls na- NASCAR, a race car. A real sponsor wow. was Darkness Falls. Are you serious? Falls. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, me and my cousin Lucas used to love that movie. Wow. I've we never seen Jeepers it. Creepers and Darkness Falls. Jeepers Creepers. Those two. The, Those were the movies. Darkness mm-hmm. Falls is the perfect example of a movie that starts really strong, and then toward the end of the movie, it falls. Oh, my God, it falls apart. Yeah, really. And it's super short. Mm. Which is weird no. for a, for a movie that's like a supernatural movie because usually movies are like what hour and a half exactly yeah. like this is like not even that yeah. it's weird but the opening of that movie gave I think traumatized people because somebody that was I'm not gonna say who that was uh, working on this movie was talking about uh, we were on the phone one night he goes man darkness falls fuck that movie he's like that he goes that made me scared of the tooth fairy every time yeah. I lost a tooth when I was a kid I would be. Looking at my claws. Yeah, your parents are like encouraging yeah. you. Hey, just, you know, just put it under. No, <laughs> dude, no. That they made me you scared. You killed in your sleep. Yeah, I don't want to spoil it because he hasn't seen yeah. it yet. But Something you gotta to watch the it. Tooth fairy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's any. It I think it needs a remake. It's a good idea. It just poorly executed. But right. the first half of it is not terrible. No. But the end of it, just I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. But with you being a music guy too, what do you think of Rob Zombie's movies? Okay, so The Devil's Rejects is a masterpiece. I've never seen it. It is it's one of amazing. the greatest fucking movies I've ever seen in no my life. No way. Yeah. Yeah. You're a movie watcher. Yeah. House of Thousand Corpses is great. I just don't like the ending. It gets crazy. It gets crazy, and. But I like it. How old are these movies? <laughs> uh, they that came was out 2001. Two da- yep. You're right. Yeah. Devil's Rejects came out in 04. Yeah. You've seen that. Devil's Rejects? No. I've never, I've, I've oh, never seen shit. either one of them. I've seen his Halloween's. That's it. Oh. Well, Devil's Rejects is very... Exploitation. It's intense. Yeah. There was moments in it where I literally had to turn away. Because yeah. I was like, this is really hard to watch. Yeah. But I think he intentionally made it that way. It's right. an accident. It was Rob Zombie. It's Rob yeah. Zombie. I mean, yeah. he's not... music? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, you know I'm the biggest fan Teddy, of Teddy, are you zombie. a Rob Zombie music guy? I wasn't until I really hit the, the metal I tell you phase. what. There is not many things like leaving work and putting on feel so numb Dude, at the yeah. top of yeah. your stereo. Like, <laughs> yeah. 40, it goes to 40 on mine. Yeah. That's on 40 <laughs> when feel so numb comes on because that's just ridiculous. That's crazy because I remember when that album came out, my granddad bought that for me when I was like, it was like, yeah, it was 2002 or 2001. I used to not appreciate it when I was younger, and now I listen to it, and I'm yeah. like, oh, my God. Yeah. I remember being in kindergarten with my lunch, Rob Zombie Hillbilly Deluxe lunchbox. I still have yes. it. Yes. Wow. Deluxe. You have to show me a you picture just of keep, You yeah, just keep, keep shit. shit. I keep shit. <laughs> well, because, well, because I really like, you know, I'm still a fan of his music, and like, I remember yeah. Miss, who was our kindergarten teacher? Do you remember? Because me and you had kindergarten together. Her name, uh, Miss Robertson, was that her name? No. No, I, no, I, I had, had She had... She wiped my ass. I had Harmon. <laughs> is, that, is that who it was? I had Harmon. I had her. <laughs> she was mean. Or, no, I can't remember. Or maybe she was Okay, mean. yeah. Maybe she kinda, was cool. Yeah. Kind of. Oh. Kind of hateful. Kind of hateful. But well, anyway... She's still with five girls. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. T- Teddy told a story about how uh, his kindergarten teacher had to wipe his ass. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I'd be irritable too if I had to wipe a little kid's <laughs> I ass. I have not heard this story. Every day. Yeah. What happened? Uh, I had bad diarrhea. <laughs> and when I had diarrhea... We were, ta- we we were talking about how we didn't know how to wipe when we were kids. Mm-hmm. And how that would not go well nowadays. At our age, and he's yeah. like, "Yeah, a teacher had to wipe my ass." Yeah, we're in the lobby in Eastern. Yeah, <laughs> I uh, yeah, you know, I was five, six years old, and at the time, my mom would wipe my own butt when I had massive diarrhea. Well, I had massive diarrhea that day during lunch, and I cried for help. And <laughs> he was crying <laughs> for help. That's just so problem. happened, this, whimpering. Just so happened, she walked by and she's like, "Justin," I'm like, "Help me," <laughs> and she. She liked my ass. <laughs> hey, man, you had mud butt. <laughs> I did. That, that's what it was. Yeah, Dave Chappelle would put it. You had a bad case of mud butt. You're a big Dave Chappelle guy, aren't you? I love Dave Chappelle. Yeah. Actually, Dave Chappelle has influenced this movie I'm working on more How? probably. What? How? Talk about it. All right, so Shoot. comedy, it's, mm-hmm. it's, there's some shit in it that people could probably take the wrong way, but. Good. So, yeah. Good. I yeah. mean, it's not PC at all. This movie is not going to be that at all. So, if you're sensitive to language or. You just don't like to have, or you just don't have a sense of humor. Do not watch a movie because you're not going to like it. But if you like to laugh and have a good time, as Joey Diaz would put it, then fucking watch it. So, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. so yeah. But I had a similar experience like that when I was a kid. Okay. I, had, I, I, 
I oh my gosh. I, never mind. I'm not even gonna tell that story. It's too embarrassing. You're in but, deep. Yeah. yeah. You're, you're in deep. <laughs> yeah. I mean, because like I, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Because yeah. I had an incident like that when I was in middle school. Yeah. But no, nah, one time uh, I was at the. Do you remember when we used to go on field trips? Yeah. In kindergarten, they took us to Treasure Island. I never forget. The kindergarten teacher was really concerned. She was like. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I, got, I love this guy named Rob Zombie. He's got a red X in his forehead. And immediately I know what she's thinking. It's Charles Manson. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And Wait, I remember she was really freaked you knew out. Charles Manson in kindergarten? No. Uh, Rob I'm no, Zombie. But I know what she was thinking because she uh, didn't know who Rob Zombie was. Okay, gotcha. But that's where he got that from. Okay, gotcha. Because he's a big, like, mark for Charles Manson. Like, he likes the movies, uh, uh, the, 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 the was the movie about Charles Manson? I'm trying to remember what it's called. Helter Skelter, yeah. There's a movie of Helter, Helter Skelter? Yeah, and there's another movie called The Manson Family. Okay. But, uh... I watched, uh... Manson Family Vacation. <laughs> is that is that what I it is? I think that might be it. That's a comedy. If it's a comedy... That came out a few years ago. Okay, that might not be it. This is, okay. this is, in this, this is like in the... This is an older movie. Oh, okay, so. okay. So, back to Rob Zombie. Uh, he's making a... A movie of the monsters perfect and he's a big really? yeah, yeah. He, he's a big monster movie like the old monster movies oh yeah and frankenstein kind of frankenstein uh dracula werewolf wolf, wolf man um i think he's gonna take it in a direction where it's like messed up <laughs> i can't <Yeah>. wait <laughs> and i don't know if that's cool i mean it might work but He's filming like in different countries. For I can't remember what country it is. I, his his music too. I and his is movies. White Zombie your favorite band? Yeah. Okay. I mean, they're one of my favorite bands besides Typo Negative and and uh, At the Gates and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I would I would pay anything for a White Zombie reunion. But um, yeah, yeah, literally, I drop a grand right now to go see them. <laughs> but um, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. But anyway, yeah, yeah, his movies I. His movies, um, Lords of Salem was one that it's I, strange. It's strange. Yeah, I like it, but I don't. Do you have anything to do with Salem witch? Yeah, yeah, yeah it does. Like these witches. Yeah, his wife's the main character, like always. Oh yeah, <laughs> I mean, gotta keep the money in the family. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I need to rewatch that because when I watched it, uh, I didn't get it. Yeah, I didn't get it either. I, yeah. It took me a while to like even soak everything. There in. was like moving statues with their dongs. Moving like that, it's weird. <laughs> it literally, oh, okay. It really is like an Argento movie where it's Dario Argento. Yeah, it's yeah. like opera or fucking Suspiria, where it's yeah. like really like. Oh, you're into those movies? Yeah, I like okay. those kind of movies. I like um, um, Italian Italian film. movies. Mother Tears is fucking weird. That is. What is that movie by Dario Argento? I sent it in our group chat where <laughs> was it inside? No, it's um. Or I don't think it's him, but it's the part where she's holding the gun on the table and then an axe just drops through the glass window. I, I know what you're talking about. I just can't think of the movie. It's been so long since I've seen it. Um, well, I sent it to them. No, and they're like, "What the hell are you watching?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 I remember that. So it, it looked it looked cheesy. Yeah, I mean it did. Yeah. Yeah, his movies are always, like, really out there as far as visuals. And mm-hmm. a lot of it doesn't make a lot of sense. Yeah. Like, if you watch the opening, I think it's either uh, Inferno, it's a girl underwater, or it's that Suspiria. I can't remember if... See, I never watched the original Suspiria. I watched the remake, which was pretty oh, okay. good. But the ending to the new Suspiria, have you seen the No, I need to watch you it. You need to watch it. The ending of that is insane. Is it totally different than the original? Or I've what? never seen the original. Oh, okay. 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 But, yeah... Is there blood in this movie? <laughs> is there blood? Will in this there movie? be blood? Yeah. There's. It's a possibility. Okay. Yeah, there's a possibility. I was thinking of Darian. But it'll be funny. Real yeah. blood. Real blood? No. Oh. <laughs> no, no, run over. No. I was it's not thinking. A snuff movie. I was thinking of Dario Gento's because in filmmaking, back in the '80s and stuff, there's a type of red tint that some filmmakers would use. He would do like very bright red, which yeah. I always I incorporated that in. Uh, summer slasher. That's where you got the idea from, yeah. huh? Because yeah. it's funny because when I was watching, I was thinking I've seen this in that's Argento Dario's movies. Blood. Yeah, <laughs> and, you know, literally. That's what yeah. you call it. Blood. And a lot of his shots, like the knife shots that he would do in his slasher movies, where the camera would just have the it's the hand just the, of the ninety knife. degree angle yeah. of the arm. Yeah, just the arm. That tattoo yeah. is inspired by those movies. Yeah, and I incorporated that in Summer Slasher too. 
Deep Red is like that. Deep Red, yeah. Deep Red is a lot like that. And that movie's fucking bizarre. Like, <laughs> I watched that movie and I was like, I didn't learn. I mean, I learned stuff, but I was like, what? It, it, it borders on being sometimes this movie's being like an art mm-hmm. film. Like, mm-hmm. it kind of has it's that It's very uh, avant-garde. Yeah, if you showed that to somebody who loves, like, Insidious or in Paranormal Activity, they would not get it. Cause, right. You know. Well, yeah. what, do you, what do you think of found footage nowadays? Nowadays, uh, the last one that I watched that generally, like, creeped me out was, um, and it, I'm not even say, saying it's, like, the greatest movie in the world or it's, a, like, an amazing movie, but I thought it was all right, but it was Grave Encounters. Yes. That fucking scared the shit out of me. I mean, there was a lot of really good jump scares, mm-hmm. but it's no Blair Witch Project, right. because to me... The Blair Witch has got more in common with that movie, The Shining, yeah. as far as raising the tension. Because mm-hmm. that's what that movie is. But uh, Paranormal Activity, the first one I enjoyed. Yeah. Did, you, they, like, did you like I thought they kind of ran that in the ground. Oh, yeah, yeah they definitely did. The first mm-hmm. one, yeah, it's fine. But it's the first fine. one nailed it. I mean, I thought that the, the scene that... What did, what did she put beside her bed? She put some type of white powder beside her bed at night. It you was salt, was? wasn't it? Yeah, and it was like three... Um, Toe prints. I was like, fuck that shit. Yeah, was, yeah. <laughs> I'd be out of there. <laughs> Um, so there, do you have the Shutter account? No, I do not, actually. Well, it's only, it's only $5 a month. That's where I watch the Dario Gento movies. Okay. And there's a Shutter exclusive called Host. And it's a, it's a found footage type movie, but it, it's, it came out last year. They filmed it while in quarantine. So it's on Zoom. The movie's on Zoom. Hmm. And oh, it yeah, is, you told me about yeah, that. Yeah, it is amazing. You need to watch it. Okay. What's it called? Host. Host. Huh. Yeah, you told me about that. Yeah, it is amazing. They film it on Zoom. Huh. They did it last year when COVID was happening. Did you ever... I'm going to have to check that out. Yeah. Because that sounds really cool. It might be on YouTube as well if, to rent. Did you like um, Cloverfield? I did, yeah. I liked that movie. Yeah. And I thought the, the tunnel scene with those... I haven't pictures, seen that movie in a long time. Yeah, Dude, it's, it's been a while. crazy. That and also... Um, the sequel to Cloverfield... Is good too. I haven't seen that, it's good. but people tell me it's totally is it called different. Cloverfield Two. No, it's. Uh, I was about to say if you if you lame. have a really good sequel, you don't put two in it. No, it's completely different from the original. It's not found footage. No, it's 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 not found footage at all. The um, I'm trying to think of another found footage movie that I liked. Um, mm-hmm. There's got to be another one that I liked. Okay, so it's not found footage, but it has that angle to mm-hmm. it. It's 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 in the movie. Was Disturbia with Shia LaBeouf? Yeah, you remember that? I movie? thought that was great. Yeah. That was a great. Movie. I thought that was great. Mm-hmm. That was a really great movie. Yeah, it was. I great it. soundtrack. Yeah, that's why I like Kings of Leon. Because <laughs> Kings of Leon was in that movie, and the it song. came out right when he was like at at the peak. I think it was after two thousand seven, eight like Transformers. Yeah. yeah, that's when he was hitting this. What's movie. that movie he was in with Samuel L. Jackson? And Samuel L. Jackson was a badass. I remember neighbor. that movie. I don't God, know what it's called, but I know what you're talking about. It was really good. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I actually remember. liked it. I don't think it's a popular movie. No. I can't remember. Oh, God. If I don't find this, Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> What's it called? Is it with Shia Shia Bo? Yeah. I thought. I, I had to ask you, so we were talking about interpretation of movies. Yeah, just go, yeah. go ahead and what ramble you, while I find this. What do you think happened at the end of The Shining? What was your take on it? I always thought it was ghosts, but some people think he was literally just nuts. Right. And not really seeing well, it supernatural. I didn't read Stephen King's Shining's book mm-hmm. until college. I took a horror class. It was my final class at Radford, and it was a horror writing film class. Best class I ever took. That sounds cool. And we read uh, Carrie, The Shining, Silence of the Lambs, uh, a few other books, but when I read The Shining, it is completely different from Stanley Kubrick's movie. I've heard. And in the book, it's supernatural. In the book, uh, Jack isn't, um, he wasn't crazy from the beginning. Like in the movie, in Stanley Kubrick's movie, he's crazy all along. Yeah. So when you said, it was just in his head. Yeah. I kind of believe that. You kind of believe that? Yeah. And, but Danny, of course, he has that gift. See, that's where it throws the... the, the that theory. That yeah. throws, the, throws the whole thing out of whack of it being just in his head. Because yeah. Why is he seeing those two little twins all the time? Right, right. 
Which, by the way, is one of the most... That is the perfect example of you can be disturbing as fuck in a movie and not show one drop of gore or right, blood. Right, I mean, when I saw that, I'm pretty sure you had the same reaction that I did. Mm-hmm. was, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. Like, why are they into the hallway? Like, what There's is that? So, something about that it's weird. There's so many, like, uh, things in the movie that you're like, okay, why did that happen? Like, the scene with the, the guy in the teddy... There are the rabbit outfit yeah, blowing, blowing now, one of the hosts. Is it, what is this? The Shining. It's like, what the no, fuck? Yeah. <laughs> there's, a, there's a part in the movie where it's either, I think it's Danny who's looking down in a hotel uh, room, and mm-hmm. a bunny, a guy dressed in a buddy, bunny outfit is blowing one of the caretakers or whatever, <laughs> and, it just, <laughs> and he just looks down the hallway at Danny. That, yeah. I, that part, I'm just like, okay, what was that? <laughs> when you say blowing him. Yeah. Sucking his wiener. A beach? Yeah. A beach. Yeah. Okay. Sucking his wiener. Damn, bunny rabbit sucking your wiener. <laughs> yeah. God almighty. It is, 20, it is 21, so 2021, so. <laughs> well. You know what you're going to have sucking your dog. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's other, like, just hidden references, like at the beginning of the movie where Jack is talking to the, uh, I don't know if it's the hotel manager or whatever, or his... I don't know who it is, but he's in the office. And Jack's sitting there in a suit, and his tie is identical to the maze in the movie. Like hmm. the pattern? The pattern. It's just little hidden Easter stuff. Easter like eggs. That. Yeah. You gotta have Easter eggs. Yeah. Kind of like the carpet. The carpet there. The carpet. Calls. Yeah, the carpet. And then that whole theory of the moon landing. Did you see that documentary? Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. There's hidden references that Stanley Kubrick uh, help fake the moon landing. The, there, so there's that. actual claims that he helped uh, with the production yeah. of that, you yeah. know, the theory that it was a production company that shot it. Mm-hmm. So he puts that in his film. Well, he put little hidden references of, like, yeah. moon landings and stuff. Like, Danny's sweater or whatever has, like, a rocket, rocket on, on it. it. Yeah. And then there's, like, some other, like, Indian reference shit on the hotel. Yeah, there's theories walls. that it's actually just Indian burial ground. No, nah, it's the theory. Oh. I, know. <laughs> I hate those. Like, I, I, I don't like them either. Really. I don't, like I don't know either. enough about them. Played that. out. Like, oh my gosh. It's like all the supernatural stuff's actually Anything that happens to me, I'm going to blame it on an Indian burial, burial ground. Like, yeah. I hit a bad golf shot. I, I, I was obviously <laughs> standing over an yeah. Indian grave here. Yeah. Yeah. Native American grave under my feet. That's it's why. Like, I sh- you could have got that in the hole. Yeah. You know, you know, Indian burial ground. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to start doing, Dylan. That's like that guy from that phone call. Yeah. You mentioned burial grounds, which I'm going to put that on cryptic. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you about it. Okay. Crazy phone call I got. But um, so when did you start actual you know, production filming on this of the, the old, the old uh, one, the one right now, the one right the now, new one, yeah. uh, two thousand, I would say, eighteen. Really? Oh, so you've been putting in some shifts? Yeah, because two thousand eighteen or nineteen, that was yeah, three years. Because ago? before he started working on his movie, actually, right when you started working on um, the Blood, boys that killed blood suckers. Blood suckers. Yeah. Um, I think it was. I, you hadn't started shooting anything, but I saw you post stuff about it. Yeah. And me and the person that was working on our movie were like, "Hey, did you see uh, that guy we went to school with? He's making a movie." And I was like, "Yeah." And I was like, "You should talk to him about maybe see if he could help us out." And I was like, "Okay." And then, um, and of course, I was in your movie, which was I really I I dug. I love that you're in it. Yeah, absolutely. I fucking loved it. Um, yeah. That was a fun time that night. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> now was this at the hospital? Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't it like weren't people upstairs? Who was upstairs? The police. Oh, well, that was the police department now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's the police department now. Yeah, <laughs> they're probably like, "What crazy kids?" What yeah, but uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I was right around that time. We, I was just writing the script, trying to get people together, and mm-hmm. uh, a- Andrew was already involved, but Joel was not. He came later. Yeah, is Joel the tall? Joel's tall. Yeah. Okay, I don't but, know if I've ever met him. Yeah, he's um. He he's playing Michael Williams and then, <laughs> and then Andrew's playing Joshua Leonard because he's got blonde hair and then I'm playing Dylan Donahue because not Dylan. Heather Donahue, Dylan Donahue. Yeah. Dylan oh, Donahue. okay. Yeah, because obviously if I say you know I'm a chick, people are obviously gonna be like, no, you're not. Like, <laughs> be like, you know. Well, nowadays you can. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's true. It's 2021. Yeah. Like, no, Dylan but, Dylan Donahue. Okay. Yeah, so that's what we're going with. Yeah, for now. Nice. Like, I mean, so far it's working, but um. So you're writing 
the new script in 2018? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so go from there. To go from there, we wrote that, and then it went through several different changes. Endings were changed. <laughs> Freaking stuff was, was, was... Alternate endings. Alternate endings. We had alternate I've had, endings. Yeah, I've had that. Yeah. And then um, we were getting ready to shoot, and COVID happened. And that fucked everything up. Uh, COVID fucked everything I mean, it yeah. fucked everything up. Because uh, the guy that was involved with this wouldn't leave his house. And I was like, I don't blame you. And I was like, well, we need to start working on this soon. So that October came and went, and we didn't shoot nothing. Because you said earlier it has to be kind of it f- filmed in the fall. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it didn't have to be like exactly like um, the way it But is the like, leaves got to change a little color, and they got to be on the ground. They, they do have to change, and it does have to look a certain way. I mean, obviously... Well, if it's, in, now. if it's in black and white... Not all of it is, but some not, of it is. Not yeah. all of it, okay. Yeah. Not all of it is, but some of it is, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Um, we made it also a conscious decision, because if you look how thick this is, mm-hmm. we made a conscious decision to make it a bit shorter. Condensed. Because there's a lot of shit in the original movie that never really went anywhere. Just fucking rambling, like who cares? Like you know, <laughs> seriously, let me know. Deleted scenes, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. And we have that in our movie. We're probably gonna have stuff that's deleted, but the stuff in here is just ridiculous. Mm-hmm. But um, it sucks cutting out a lot of. Because I had a lot of footage of summer slasher, especially like kill scenes, like mm-hmm. with Josh and. Some of it just didn't work out, and I had to cut it. And yeah. he's like, "Motherfucker!" I'm like, "I know." <laughs> and it's like it's like you want it to work, but yeah. if it doesn't work. It's like your yeah. inner self's telling you got to get rid of it. Yeah. And if you tag, and if you, it sucks. Is if you have an idea that you've held on to for a while, you don't want to let it go. Yeah. But, um, but it was mainly just me and this one other person, and then he backed out the last second, mm-hmm. and then we got Joel in in, in the picture. And if anybody knows Joel, and he uh. You ask him to do anything, he'll do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. One of the nicest people in the world. You he is to. the most reliable human being on the, in the, on the planet. Yeah, really I haven't is. seen yeah. him forever, but he's the most reliable human being on this earth. <laughs> Great guy. Yeah. Yeah. And um, the chemistry between these two in this movie is is like like when they were we shot like the scene not so long ago. Of, uh, we shot a campfire scene. It was amazing. Like they really worked well on camera with each other, and it was legit funny mm-hmm. to the point to where we were laughing on set. So, as long as it's funny. The only thing, like I said, that did happen was when we were getting ready to film, something ran behind Jolin, and, and he fucking flipped. And he's like, alright, that's it. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm yeah. like, dude, calm down. I'm like, it was probably just a squirrel. I was like, <laughs> I was like there is no witch out in these woods, dude. Was, but but he, he eventually calmed down but uh, to shoot it. But you, we, you take people into the woods, man. They kind of freak Especially out Especially people who are not used to the woods. Yeah. I mean... Uh, Matthew came on the show a year ago and was talking about sp- you know spooky things in the forest. Mm-hmm. So I guess I get he's like Dude, the woods just have a have an aura. Yeah, that is spooky. <laughs> God, I think it really does represent deep in everybody's mind the fear of the unknown. It's just the woods, mm-hmm. man. It's just the woods. It really does. Because how yeah. many movies do you know that take place in the woods? A lot. Just, exactly. Whether it's Friday Thirteenth or fucking. How many times do you get to the woods before you get to the woods? Like the tree line, you just go. Yeah, exactly. I'm about to walk into these fucking woods. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> stay on the road. <laughs> and how many times you hang out with a bunch of people that are like, you know, we've seen this in the movie, right? It's mm-hmm. like yeah, you yeah, always yeah, got that yeah, one person. Yeah, you got that one person. Like, yeah, in this one movie, yeah, you know, everybody died in the woods. But. I mean, look at the last one. The last episode you guys did was talking about a murder in the woods, literally. Yeah, yeah, which was here. So, and that's that's scary because that's actually real, <laughs> right? Um. But anyway, woods are spe- a spooky place. Yeah, mm-hmm. they are a spooky place. But um, so yeah, 2018 onward, and then COVID happened, fucked everything up, and then um, now we're back. Now we're back. I'm vaccinated, so <laughs> so yeah. we're getting the damn thing rolling here. Yeah, we've already shot stuff, and hopefully we can get Josh Scott to uh, shoot so shoot some of his please. stuff because that's <laughs> please, gonna be please, incredible. Please, 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 please. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna Make be awesome. That happen. So when do you think you'll have it? Completed next year. Next year. Next sometime next year. I, I don't want to say a set date yet because then everybody's gonna be like, oh, you know. Yeah. Because you you just never know what will happen. Mm-hmm. As mean, long if you're not gonna drop it soon. No. As, as long as you keep posting pictures like you did on the Facebook of, mm-hmm. the, of the of the guys with the cigarettes and yeah, just keep doing that to tease the people every month or something. Are you gonna have like a teaser? Yeah, oh yeah. This year? Oh yeah. We'll shoot something. Halloween. Uh yeah. That actually is my plan. Yeah. So yeah, so I think that will be awesome. Yeah, and I guess I'll bring this up since you brought up the picture of us 
with the cigarettes in her mouth. And yeah. Eduardo Sanchez, the director of the Blair Witch Project, saw our photo and he loved it. That's a big deal. He didn't just like it. He loved it. Yeah, he loved it. That's a better. <laughs> I mean, he, I mean, he could have just liked it and went on about his business. But in fact, he loved it. I mean, that's a big, on Facebook. Yeah, how'd that happen? All right, so me and him have been friends for a bit, and I wouldn't say that me and him are like best friends, but like me and him have exchanged messages. He's a nice fella. Oh, okay. Um, he probably just I posted it, and he probably saw it and was like, "Hey, like you know, that's a that guy I've talked to before," and you know. And I'm pretty sure when we post it, I will tag him or send it to him, and he probably will watch it. Actually, I last time I talked to him, he made a Bigfoot movie. And okay. I told him, I said, hey, man, I really liked your Bigfoot movie. The costume looked real. And he freaking messaged me back and said, yeah, man, that costume costs a lot of money. <laughs> like, he's a really nice guy. Like, yeah. he will respond to you. Like, um, humble dude. But uh, the fact that he saw it, that's a big deal. Mm-hmm. So... That's awesome. To me, anyway. Yeah. yeah. No, he's a director of a of a famous film that we're spoofing. So, one of oh my gr- God, yeah. one of the greatest horror movies the, the to talk, come out. Yeah. The talk about Blair Witch when I was a kid. You know, we like we said earlier, thought that was real. Yeah. yeah. Well, what'd you think of the ending? What'd you think? I haven't seen it in forever, Dylan. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I just know they were talking to that one guy at the end. Weren't they? Well, he was in the corner. And she's like trying to respond, and then that's when she gets attacked. Yeah, that's, something grabs her. Yeah. something off camera. Yeah, but he wasn't responding. Yeah, my take on it, like I said, has always been that the Blair Witch got him. You know, the Blair Witch. Yeah, she 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 took that's him. The fucking movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he got to get her at the end. Ellie was probably like, man, I wish these fucking people stopped coming to my room. It's like, <laughs> leave me alone. It's like, it's like damn. It's like it's, it's <laughs> quiet. It's like, <laughs> when was the last day you guys filmed? Um, was the day we posted that picture, actually. Okay, okay. About um, a week ago or something. Yeah. Because this happened relatively fast. He he brought up the idea. He's like, dude, we got to get Dylan on here. And I was like, I was going to bring that up. Yeah. Uh, really? Was, yeah, I was going to bring it up, yeah. Once I saw that photo, I was like, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yep, that's it. Yeah, he's going <laughs> on. You probably thought when I was telling you I was going to make a movie, like, ah, oh, it's probably going to be like, you know, something. And then when you probably saw that, you're like, okay. It looks <laughs> legit. Thank you, yeah. yeah. Thank you, I really appreciate that. And I, th- I appreciate you guys letting me come on here. Well, oh, that's on behalf of everybody that's working on it now. Yeah, seriously. Well, I like. I told him I was like support the local. You know. Yeah. Buy local. Yeah. You see that all the time. Buy local. Yeah. <laughs> Promote local. We got, yeah. We're in a weird era, Teddy. Mm-hmm. Say what you want about the Paul brothers. The Paul. <laughs> why? Why? Why do you hate them? <laughs> <laughs> why do you hate them, Teddy? Me. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're content creators. They are. They create content you don't like. <laughs> <laughs> we're in a con. We are in a content creating atmosphere, mm-hmm. and it's here now. Yeah. We got we we you know we did this show. We got friends who are doing shows. Uh, you know, a friend that's doing a new show. Yeah, we got Dylan out here making movies. You know, Teddy was making his movies. Yeah. a couple years ago. <laughs> the content creation is seeping into a place I didn't think it was going to, right. and it's going up. That's weird. Like, if you would have told me back. Ten years ago, or even when I was in middle school, that we would be sitting here and you would have made. Oh, you've already made two movies. Three. Or three. three. No, you yeah. made three. And then, like on top of that, we're doing podcast. I'm yeah. making one now. I would have been like, no way, no mm-hmm. way. And I told him a few months ago we were Giles County's fastest rising podcast. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, I, and, I that, and I hope that holds up. I hope it holds up too. Like, because <laughs> you never know what bloke will come out in their, right. in their bedroom and make something. <laughs> Yeah, and but, like, but we'll, we'll hold on to that title right now. Giles County's fastest rising podcast. <laughs> and how long? How long has this been going on, y'all's podcast? Uh, about eighteen months. Eighteen months. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it seems like more people are coming out. And... Coming out. <laughs> coming out of the closet. Coming out of the closet. Yeah, coming like out the South Park episode. I actually, you got people. You got people coming out. I actually listen to your guys' show. <laughs> yeah. well, you got John Travolta. Come on, closet. <laughs> They're coming out to be more creative, and I think that's awesome around this area. Yeah, um, and I'm pretty sure like everybody staying indoors is probably fueling that because people are getting bored. Right, they got to do something. Yeah, well, that's why we started the, this podcast. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We were we planned on. 2016 starting it. Yeah. Oh wow. I'm kind of glad we didn't. Yeah. Because yeah. it probably would have been horrible. Um, Teddy can attest to that. What kind of what would we even talked about in 2016? We were kids. Yeah. Not much. I, I mean, graduated. Yeah, and and we had a uh, you know an episode a few months back. You know the Angie Renee episode about the football player murdering the. Uh, uh, oh yeah. Her old friend Angie Renee. <laughs> and. <laughs> yeah. and um, 
<laughs> if we would have started in 2016, would we even had a chance to do that? Well, we we probably would have quit right. in 2016 because right. it would have been so bad. I, I think. I feel like we yeah we might yeah, not have been last. so consistent with it. Though. I don't think it'll last it. Yeah. But we're here now. <laughs> here we are, and here's Dylan. Dylan held on to a dream of Blair Witch Project, and what's the movie called now? Uh, the Blur Witch Project. The Blur. Blur. It and is you, blurry. And you said <laughs> and you said it had three different titles. It did. So why did the blur stick? Because that was the one that we all could agree on. And we were like, okay, that one hasn't been taken, as far as I know. And uh, that one... Trademark it right now? Yeah. I don't know if I... Well, yeah. I don't know if I want to go and trademark it, but... Because uh, uh, I don't have a lawyer. <laughs> uh, but um, the, the first title was the, the Buyer's Witch Project. Which, that name actually came from a real documentary called Paradise Lost, A Child Murders of Robin Hood Hills. God. Do you remember that movie? Uh-uh. You've never seen that movie? No. It's one of the greatest documentaries I've ever seen in my life. Seriously. You have to send that to me. Um, it's about, I think I told you this about, about this movie to you at one time at work. It's about these three people who got arrested for a crime they didn't commit. Mm-hmm. And they got released from jail. And Johnny Depp, the Dixie Chicks, a bunch of people tried to, like, give them... They donated a ton of money to get them out of prison because they clearly got the wrong people if you watch the movie. Mm. Um, but anyway, there's a character in that movie named Mark Byers who's, like, an old redneck kind of guy. Yeah. And he's, like, just crazy. And uh, we took that name and we were like, let's use that for our movie. But then we changed it because we were like, eh, let's be come up with something funnier. I'm a fan of Blur Witch. So, yeah, mm-hmm. I am. Thanks. I appreciate it. But spoofy then, name? It's a spoofy name for a spoofy film. It is. <laughs> but then the Bleach Witch came along, which thanks to old anal um anal, anal Bleach Cox or Courtney Cox. <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> we, Throwback. Yeah, literally. Throwback to Courtney um, Cox. <laughs> we found out that when one time me and my friends were all hanging out That's and we were like hilarious. Can you believe people bleach their ass? And we were and one of my friends was like, Hold up. <laughs> we're like, let's call it the Bleach Witch. And I was like, <laughs> All right. <laughs> And then that stuck, and then obviously everything fell apart. And then I remember when we started this back up, we were like, we got to change that title. Let's change it to something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, then, uh, and then now we're sitting here with uh, the blur. But, yeah, thanks to old Courtney Cox. Like, yeah. you know, we have a title for a movie. <laughs> Forget Avatar 2. This is the most anticipated movie I've been wanting to see. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't want anybody to get their hopes up too high. Cause, you I, know. I can't think of an, another one I'm more excited for than the Blur Witch Project. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> so it's coming out next year. Next year sometime. some point. Okay. Uh, TBA. Yeah. Or if we get lucky and we shoot everything, like, uh, and we get and everything goes according to plan, we can maybe end it or get it done by this year. So. Yeah. But um, I'll give you some advice. Okay. Just stay. This is an advice show. Yeah. Stay consistent with it. Okay. Try and plan days as much as possible to film. If a, if a day or a weekend doesn't work out, plan the next week. Okay. That's how I got my shit done, and it worked out. And pick people who are oh. loyal to it, and it seems like you have the loyal people now. Absolutely. There'd be no way we'd be able to uh, do this. I mean, we've, we've already st- shot like three days worth of sh- stuff, and you know, and everything's going forward to plan. So we have a, we have a consistent group of people. Mm-hmm. They take time out of their day to. I mean, look, you just saw what I just showed you earlier. That person took time out of their day um, to make that sign. Yeah. And her name her name's Braylon, by the way. Shout out. Yeah. And, and 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 she's an amazing artist. Mm-hmm. And like, no joke, like, um, she did an amazing job on this sign that's going to be in the movie. Awesome. And um, it, it's hilarious. So yeah, um, you gotta be, you gotta, you gotta get people that are um, passionate about it. Yeah, know? exactly. And you're passionate about the Blair Witch. Uh, you've been passionate about it for 20 years. You've been talking <laughs> yeah. to me about it for fucking well, ever. Well, <laughs> I, I, I know, Joko. I do feel bad about when I was a kid. I used to have a bad habit of going on and on and on about stuff, and I really do feel bad about that. Because <laughs> okay. when I was a kid, I would not shut up. So. So, yeah. Well, if you're passionate about something, I mean... Yeah. You were very passionate about tornadoes at one point. I, there's a part of me that still kind of kind of is. No, you right? are. He was. Yeah, really? I, I like tornadoes. Didn't you? Oh, it's yeah, a fascinating tornado. Yeah, it's, a fascin- it's a crazy storm. That it's came to metal. mind. Oh, my god! It's a nostalgic episode. I can't episode believe you remember that. It's, that yeah. was, I was in, like... I remember We went this. to school again. I know. We've but, talked about it on the show, my memory. I know. It's but, pretty damn good. But damn, I can't believe you remembered that. Holy shit. I remember because... Big tornado I, guy. I would try yeah. and draw tornadoes, and I would let him review it. Wow. <laughs> yes. Holy shit. I Not do. big enough for an F5. 
<laughs> not big enough. <laughs> not big enough. Looks like more clouds. Yeah. Like, <laughs> got to go back to the drawing board. But... <laughs> God, I can't remember. I can't believe I remember that. I do remember sitting at the lunch table with him talking about Resident Evil 3, and he was like, man, that's a really scary game. He's like, I know my brother plays it. And I was like, yeah, dude. He's like, it's scary. And I was like, <laughs> half the kids didn't know what the hell I was talking about. Same goes with White Zombie. A lot of people thought I was talking about a fucking movie, and I was like, no, it's a band. Mm-hmm. Well, like, I used to do that as a kid as well. Like, if you, if, you, if you know a lot about a certain topic, and they don't know anything about it yet, because, you know, they have a different home life, you, you talk about it all the time. You I know. Get very just, passionate about I know. I just ran things in the ground a lot when I was a kid, and I just hate that I'd done that. But, no, um, don't. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. So, That's why I you're talk. on the show. I know. That's yeah. <laughs> you're like, we got a guy that can talk. Yeah. yeah. Dylan. Yeah. I, I try my best. Can we, t- can we talk about something I heard about? Someone told me at work the other day. There's a condition that people can have, whether it be from brain trauma. I don't think people are born with this. They can't. They have. They can't produce mental images of things. Mm. Like, and he gave me an example. He's like, "You've been to the beach. You know what the beach looks like. You know what the beach feels like." These people can go to the beach when they like return home or something. They can't think of the beach. Oh. Nothing comes to mind. It's black. It's called a mind's eye or something. That's awful. They can't produce a mental image of things. I was like, I've never heard of that. It's called a. Let me look it up. It's that, called aphasia. That gives me anxiety. <laughs> it gave me, I was right. like, dude, yeah, how would right. I even live? Yeah, how yeah. would you live? Right. How it's, would you be creative? Because you have to think about exactly. stuff. Exactly. A loss of ability to understand or express speech caused by brain damage. Oh, man. Oh. So, like, a uh, head trauma, like, car accident, got hit in the head, you know, dropped as a kid. <laughs> those kind of things. Uh, can cause that. <laughs> Imagine if you just banged this hot chick. You can't even remember. Uh, I can't even picture you. You can't go and tell no one about it. Well, you can. No, no, I mean, you can tell no, no, you, no, It's not like you lost. All, you can't come up. Come yeah. up with the the picture in your head. It's black. God. Daddy, say you went to a coffee shop. You can remember everything you did. You can't picture what you did. Say you went to meet Angie. You can't remember. Well. Well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You can remember it. You can't remember picture. I, I, you know, mental imaging is is something you do all day. Mm-hmm. You, like the beach thing. You, yeah. you know what? The, I haven't been to the beach since 2016. I know exactly what the beach is. Yeah. These people can't see the beach in their head. That's crazy. That's that, that's that, I've never heard. That's of that. almost like hell for me. That, that is. That would be. How would you come up with thoughts? Yeah. How and would and you? I, I and, and I, I started diving into it. I was like, how do these people act? Mm-hmm. They have to talk all the time, because they can't think. They can't think in their head. Right. So they just, they just speak. They have to they have to be occupied all the time. They have to be doing things all the time. And that's when I would look at him like, "Hey man, you want some taffy?" <laughs> <laughs> so they'd be quiet. <laughs> taffy. Because <laughs> it takes a while to yeah. chew it. <laughs> I'd be like, "Hey man, you want some taffy?" <laughs> God. They would know what taffy was. Yeah, they could not picture it in their head. That is insane. I know, that's How crazy. could you live like that? That is pure hell. And I was thinking about Helen Keller the other day. <laughs> oh, and I was thinking about Hel- okay, Helen Keller. Correct me if I'm wrong. Deaf and blind and mute and mute. God, what did she accomplish on this earth? She did write a book. Yeah. How the hell did that happen? All right. I'm gonna sound like an asshole. Oh gosh. <laughs> Did Helen Keller do great work, or did we give her a participation trophy because she tried? That's a good question. I don't know. That's a good question. Like, if she wrote a book, was it scribbles? And we were just like, she wrote a book. Or she... Because she's deaf, blind, she's, and you. She spoke. Like, do you know what I'm saying, Teddy? Like, <laughs> did, I, I wasn't around back then. That's true. Maybe she just had someone, like, interpret her squimit, or, you know, her squimit. How? I don't know mm. how, but... How could... No... If Helen Keller lived, that's an accomplishment. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. I couldn't do e- either of those three things. Yeah, I couldn't. She couldn't hear. She, she couldn't see. She couldn't talk. So how did she how do the, the thing fuck? she did? How the fuck did how? she? Did we, did Is this she all do, I? Did she do great work or did they... It's such a feat. Yeah. It was probably shit what she was doing. 
Like she wrote a book. It's come like on. a third grader. Like, come on, you gonna read Helen Keller's book? Was it even her that wrote the book? It's like your third grader's macaroni art. It's like I'm gonna look that up right now. <laughs> exactly, it's on the fridge. It's like Dylan. It's, it's on the fridge. It's on the fridge. It's cool, but is that what we? Lisa. Is that That's how we? <laughs> is that how we treat Helen Keller? Yeah. I, I'm not sure. God. And I thought of that from the you know the lack of mental imaging. Right. It's, it's right. like that's what you need. Because she couldn't come up. There's no way she could come up with mental images. No, she can't see. No. <laughs> she can't hear Teddy. <laughs> Helen, I'm gonna look this up real quick. And we can finish the show on, on Helen Keller here. <laughs> Helen Keller <laughs> accomplishments. Um. She was the first deaf blind person to earn a bachelor's degree. How? I don't know. She it's... published her famous autobiography, The Story of My Life, in 1903. She published 12 books, <laughs> including Light in My Darkness. It's not her. <laughs> it's, it's not it's just somebody, it's else. somebody else. You really don't think it's her? There's a list. Hold on. Let me find some more. Oh, my God. It just doesn't seem possible. That's why I was thinking about it. <laughs> Did we just put her macaroni art did, like, yeah. on the fridge? Think, or did she actually do great things? I don't know. I, gotta, her I guess mom, I gotta read her book. Did her mom write the book? Teddy, I don't know these fucking things. That's what I'm asking. We need, um, we need to have a, uh, a she was one a, episode she of... She was a political and social activist. Now, how did she get... How? how? Okay, every, everything on the list off is going to say how. <laughs> she was a leading member of the American Foundation from the Blind. How? <laughs> Let's just... She was a world-renowned yeah. speaker. <laughs> she was a world-renowned speaker. How? Now, okay, so she, I thought she can't talk. I think she can talk. Okay. She won the Presidential uh, Medal of Freedom from John F. Kennedy in 64. Um, yeah, that's that's what she did. Those are the things she did. She wrote 12 books. I don't <laughs> believe it. How? I don't believe it. See, these it. are the things I think about randomly. <laughs> Yeah, I do too. Because actually, Dexter, one of my friends at work, told me he said the scariest thing for a brow, uh, for some, some, for a blind person to to read in Braille is don't touch. That's terrifying. Mm. <laughs> because of you know, <laughs> that's the kind of stuff. I know what you're saying because we talk about this at work. We were like, Helen Keller wrote a book, and one of my friends at work was like, How did that work? I was like, I don't know. How did she do anything? How did she do anything? I don't. Get if it. she did those things. Huge props to Helen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> huge <laughs> props. I just don't know if it was participation awards, macaroni art, like we said. I don't know if it's legit. It's like you're in the mall. I gotta question her authenticity. And I'm not hating on Helen Keller. No, I'm just like, no. do, how, how do we treat her? Do you want me to order one of her books for you? <laughs> I'll do the audio book. Okay. I hope she's the one talking. Oh, I, I hope she's the one reading. <laughs> well, <laughs> you wanna wrap it up? Yeah. Let's plug some things. <laughs> yeah. Where could people find your content? My content, um, we're gonna we're probably gonna make a YouTube channel, okay, and just have it specifically just for this. Okay, um, I'll advertise it probably on my Facebook. Okay, uh, there was an old website, uh, actually an old Facebook page for the old movie, but I deleted it because, like I said, I burned all my uh, movie stuff. I, I just gave up on making movies, so mm-hmm. I got rid of it. But yeah, we'll we'll have a YouTube channel. We'll make it probably right before it comes out. Probably, well, that's where the teaser will be. Okay. It will be there on my or my Facebook page. Okay. Um, I'm going to send you a website. It's called Film Freeway. Okay. And it's where filmmakers send their projects to film festivals. Oh, okay. And, God, the amount of film festivals that is on that website. Subgenre, horror films, everything. Comedies, comedy horror. Hmm. Everything. That's where I, I submitted my movies. Um, there's even like website, uh, just a website film awards mm-hmm. that uh, Summer Slasher got nominated for. Really? Yeah, we got nominated for uh, best score and best kill. Really? The That's best awesome. Best kill was when Josh stomps on Patrick's head, Dude. and it's a watermelon. Yeah, <laughs> that was cool. Though. Yeah, yeah. But I'll send you that. Okay. And. Uh, you just make an account and you could submit your films, your film to okay. endless amount of Sundance. Uh, Sundance, yeah. That's where the Blair Witch Project got his start. Sundance. That's yeah. where they got bought. That nice. I don't picture it doing that though. <laughs> yeah. 
But never know. if people legit thought it was real, that'd be different. But yeah. that, that would be nuts. I'd be going to Walmart, people like, I thought you were dead. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm alive, man. It's like, <laughs> but, um, so YouTube, um, I'll, I'll promote, we'll promote this episode oh, on all of our social medias. Our Fine. social medias are Twitter, Unhelpful Pod, Instagram, Unhelpful Podcast, uh, Facebook. Private Facebook, Unhelpful Podcast. Unhelpful Advice Podcast. Unhelpful Advice Podcast. Um, Email at unhelpful, yeah. or the unhelpful, <laughs> unhelpful Advice Podcast at gmail.com. Or Let's hotline. See, call the hotline. That's the only way it works, Teddy. That's Dylan a question. Yeah, you can ask me a question, and I'll answer it with honesty. Yeah. But that's 540 <laughs> 358 1583. Yeah. Um, and again, I just got to say this. Uh, on behalf of me and everybody that's working on this movie, uh, thank you for letting me come on. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks, Thanks for being welcome. on. You're welcome to come back on. Yeah, okay. well, you'll definitely have to be. Okay. On. We could talk about other stuff too, like Alex Jones. Yeah, we should talk about Evil. Jones in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Twisted Metal. Twisted Metal. <laughs> and Tornadoes. Conspiracy yeah. theories. Bill, yeah, tornadoes, how, definitely Tornadoes. How crazy that movie uh, with uh, Bill Paxton is called Frailty. You okay. Ever, mm-hmm. ever, ever seen that movie? Mm-hmm. Oh my God, that movie's bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen. Well, it. I got to see Darkness Falls first. You got to see it. Uh, you ever seen the movie Star of Echoes with Kevin Bacon? Mm-hmm. Dude, that's a that's a movie. Dylan. That's a crazy movie. Nobody watches movies like you. I know. <laughs> you watch movies. I know. I do watch movies. You've never seen Star of Echoes with Kevin Bacon? No. It came out. It's like The Sixth Sense, but I think it's better. Okay. I've seen The Invisible Man. Okay. Then, yeah. I mean, it, well, I actually think Star of Echoes is actually better. Okay. I think. I think, but. Kevin so Bacon's in some movie. interesting movies, that's for sure. You'll never look at the song Painted Black by the Rolling Stones the same after this movie. Okay. Because so, every time I think of the Rolling Stones song Painted Black, I think of that movie Stir of Echoes. I either think of that or Twisted Metal Black. But, uh, <laughs> okay. Because that song was in that game like all throughout. But um, there's a scene in the movie. Here, watch it. You'll know what I'm talking about. It's really... It's, it's, it's crazy. Okay. Okay. Uh, You'll have to send that to me. Okay. All right. (laughs) Well, thanks, everybody, for listening, watching. And we're out.